I'm Billy with Evil Motorsports and today I'm going to be showing you how to delete the factory oil cooler on the Subaru STI. So this is what we're going to be using to get this project done. We have the parts, we also have a 10 millimeter and 24 millimeter socket. We have a 14 millimeter Allen wrench socket and we have some caps that we're going to use uh, for our water pump. So we'll get over onto the engine and actually show you how this all works. It's EJ257 short block. Um, this one's upside down, as you can see. We have our oil pan on the top here. Um, but this is the factory oil cooler. Or if you use your car on track, it's more likely a warmer, like it is in our case. So we want to get rid of this. The problem is this thing has a coolant circuit running through it. So, coolant comes out of the block here, runs into the cooling system, piped down here in front of the engine, and into the water pump. So, it's not getting pushed that way, it's getting pulled this away. Um, so, we have to block off uh, this port, the port where the water comes up, and we need to get rid of this. So, in order to do that, we're going to get the oil filter out of the way. And on the stock block, you, the oil filter is held on by this extension tube. This is what is, uh, we have to replace with our part from Subaru. The part came off of a Legacy that uh, uses the same block, just without the oil cooler. So this is the oil cooler. It's also held on with a 10 millimeter bolt on the front, and then usually a hose clamp there. So to get it off, the first thing we're going to do is remove the 10 millimeter bolt here. We're going to unhook our hoses, and once our hoses are off, this whole assembly just kind of lifts off. And now, we are left with our outlet here, and that is where we're actually going to put our plug. So our new plug goes here, the extension comes out of here, and then we're going to cap this. So now we're going to go ahead and finish this up. We're going to put in our new extension piece. This is going to allow us to attach our oil filter. Next we're going to put our cap where the fluid outlet was. And then finally we are going to cap off this with our little uh, block off plug. So after we get that on we do need to put a hose clamp on this and we do need to torque down our bolts to specification. After that, we'll be ready to go to the track and see how our new cooling situation is.